<laughs> yes, Comic Con is always a fun time. Yeah. So now that Blaine is mortal again, uh, how does that uh, change things for, for oh, I think things are going to uh, change uh, quite a lot for Blaine. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're humanizing him a bit. Literally, quite literally. Uh, and uh, uh, he's going to find a new vocation this season. There's no more uh, charcuterie, there's no more neat cute. It was destroyed by uh, Major Lily White in the finale. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're, we're playing with some uh, Rob, Rob and Diane have some uh, big guys for playing in season two. <laughs> Can't really speak to anything, you know what I mean? <laughs> Can't ruin surprises. Well, can you say what that means for Blaine and Liv's dynamic? Uh, it's 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 going to change. She's going to have to get over her uh, her hatred a little bit. Playing, uh, there might be some teaming up in season two, working together. Uh, yeah. So I, I love working with Rose. So I'm looking forward to those those scenes, those days. I mean, what's a human Blaine like as opposed to zombie Blaine? What's human? I, I, you know, I think there's going to be some differences. There's, uh, but he's, he's a very nice guy. But he, he's got some charm, I think. But he's not a sweetheart. So I think he's still going to have his mitts and uh, he's still going to have his mitts and some criminal criminal activities. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when, what did you think when you found out that this was going to happen to your character? I thought it was cool because you know. We don't know how the, uh, the cure is going to work. It uh, it works immediately, but we're playing with some side effects. Uh, so that's it's going to be fun to play with. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a we had a, a lunch with the writers uh, recently, and so we're in the writers' room. Where it's just, Whiteboards of all the storylines, uh, you know, the first four or five episodes, and uh, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of nuggets, there's a bunch of uh, Easter eggs in there. I thought it was exciting too for fans to see. Yeah. But of course, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what was your favorite um, like moment or episode or you know scene, line of dialogue or anything from the first season, and why? Uh, man, I mean, the, the, the writers come up with so many great lines for us to say. So I think I probably have a top ten. Um, we have but time. In, that, in that first, in that first, the second episode, he hmm. says. Uh, this first rule of, of brain club. I don't talk about brain club. Um, or, or when he's talking about, uh, I heard uh, zombies have oversaturated the market. Is that true? I don't know. I think we're going to surprise some people. What did LL Cool J say? Don't call it a comeback? Yeah, or something like that. <laughs> so, are there any new characters that you can uh, tell us about? Uh, I, I, we're going to meet some of uh, Blaine, Blaine De Beers' family. We're going to meet some of the Beers clan uh, in season two. Or so. Are they as uh, despicable as he is? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. And we're, we're looking at some pretty, pretty cool high profile guys. So hopefully, I've come up with ideas. I thought Rucker Howell would be a rad dad. Um, <laughs> I like that. Uh, so. Hopefully, hopefully uh, Rob, Rob will be busy with me. Good dad. Thank you, sir. What's your favorite part about him? And side of it versus. Man, I don't know. I haven't played a lot of protagonists in my life. I don't even know what that life is like. Uh, all I know, all I know is bad guys. Um, it's fun. Yeah, I, I think everybody has a, a dark side. <laughs> and I get to tap into it uh, on a week-to-week -week basis. I get paid for it and have fun with it. Twist my mustache. And on this one, it's, uh, you know, calling it a Zomcom Rom Drum. So it's the first time I've really been allowed to do some comedy. Uh, so there's, uh, there's some new things that I'm, I'm getting to play with with this character. Uh, I don't know. 
I think the bad guy, it's always it's good to be bad. It's good to be bad. <laughs> Can you talk about the fan response from season one? It just was amazing. I mean, how, how was it to experience that from your end? Of yeah, it was cool. Because last year when we were here, we were, uh, we were we were not a known entity. We were trying to pitch this thing, which was a, it was a hard sell. We were just talking about it, you know. <laughs> Medical student becomes a zombie, eats brains to solve crimes. It was like, okay, yeah, we'll have fun. With it. Yeah, and then people watched it and did have fun with it. So it's it's cool to see people like dressed up as, as Liv, and uh, even there was a Robbie floating around dressed up in cosplay. Um, I've done a couple of conventions in Houston at Comic Palooza, and there was like four Libs. Uh, so it's cool that it's out there in the ether and people are responding to it. And people are putting on the costumes of it. It's, uh, it's really 